my love. Hi, Mum. I'm currently filming a YouTube video. Um, <laughs> and one of the challenge cards was call your mum and tell her about the other person. So I'm with, okay. I'm with Nick right now. Good seeing you. All right, so. Drinks. Drinks. Yeah. What are you thinking? I think I might do tea and wine. Okay, because I, because I might as well do both, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Should we start with the tea? I met Nick a few weeks ago on a video. It was a Tinder swiping in real life video, which was an interesting experience. Okay. Oh, thank you. It's gonna this be really delicious. hot. I feel like. Good luck. It is hot. I actually saw her walk in, and I immediately, like, my eye caught her, I guess. The lineup was going, and it was taking quite a while. And I was like, okay, I think that's the person I'm gonna try and swipe on, and we'll see if we get lucky. We were asked to reshuffle at one point, and I kind of stayed where I was. <laughs> and he came to, like, the second spot, and that was where I was at the second spot. And so I was just really hoping that the two people that were right in front of us would both go, because otherwise the whole thing would get messed up again. We'd be, one of us would be way at the back, one of us, so yeah, I was thankful that it actually did work out like that. We both swiped yes, and kind of throughout the video, we just talked, we went on a date, and that's basically how we met, was on a YouTube video, so kind of interesting. Okay, cheers. Cheers. I'm not gonna start with that, because it'll be too hot. That's okay, well, let's see. Yeah, that's hot. <laughs> <laughs> You wanna grab so it? I pull it? Yeah, you pull it, you start. Okay, this is a perception box question. Okay. Ooh, what do you imagine other people assume about you? Wow, that's a lot to unpack, because I feel like I think a lot about, I overthink, you know, about my, my own self-perception, and I usually assume kind of the worst, and which is not always the best thing, yeah. you know? I always assume that people, I mean, I think people like me, but I don't always assume that people's perception of me is um, super high or like all the time. I, I just judge myself a lot, you know? What about hmm. you? Um, a lot of people kind of assume I'm just like happy all the yeah. time because I think I give off a pretty happy yeah, energy. Yeah, I would say and you I, do. You do yeah. give off a happy energy. Yeah, and like I am generally quite a happy, yeah. bubbly person, but I also have so many feelings, so. Um. Oh, I mean, I kind of, like, I'm kind of the same. Like, a lot of people are like, oh, you're so happy, dude. Like, you must never feel sad. If only sad. you knew what was going on You must on never feel sad or anxious. And I'm like, really? That's what you think? Yeah. We got each other's number and we kind of were texting, but we didn't have a ton of free time. And we're like, we definitely need to hang out soon. So we eventually did, and we even like filmed a TikTok about it. Um, and posted it on our channel. We went to like the flea market and it was so, it was like so funny because we got recognized and I was like, what the f That's really weird. And then we were together last night because, <laughs> because it made sense locationally, okay, guys? <laughs> it just, it made sense locationally, okay? So, yeah. Next oh, question. God. A challenge oh. card already? Already. Oh no! <laughs> oh god, okay, all right. Together, pick a song to dance to. What if I made you dance to How would you feel about that? I could, I could dance to Do you have a song that you. That, know I, really, that or I particularly like? enjoy? Let's see. Some girls, they want the moon. Handed down by this week. But my heart makes no such demands. I made this short list. Please have a glance. Wonder what music they're gonna replace that with. It better be. <laughs> but it's not gonna it's be. <laughs> sadly. Okay. That's okay. Another perception box question. <laughs> <laughs> This isn't a funny question, but okay. what is your most consistent and greatest fear? It's 
Sorry, Whoa. I didn't mean to laugh, it just... That's okay, that's all right. <laughs> I guess people call it FOMO, but like missing out on things. Like consistently, I'm like. That's a great consistency. Like yeah. honestly, it's like. Yeah. I don't like missing that I have out. this feeling and I've been trying to like work on it, you know, like mm -hmm. be like, be like not worried about it. But you know, sure. obviously the feeling comes up and it's like, I don't want to miss out on things that maybe my friends are doing. Um, what about you? Mine's probably a bit like bigger, okay. but I'd say my two kind of biggest fears and these are things that I, feel on a regular basis because, you know, they're yeah. big fears. But one, I mean, the worst possible thing I could ever imagine would be losing my twin brother, who I'm so close oh, to. So yeah. that That's is, a big fear. you know. Yeah. Um, and then also, I mean, a fear I have all the time is that, you know, I guess, I don't know how else to say this, but like, Men, low key. <laughs> um, That's fair. Like I don't, I don't want to feel scared like walking by myself. But yeah. to be quite honest, I do yeah. on a regular basis, and that's obviously and a sucks. shitty feeling. And like honestly, I kind of agree with you. Like, it's just like a lot of men do suck. Yeah. I've met a lot of shitty men. Yeah. I mean, I've met a lot um, of cool men, but I've met so a lot of shitty guys obviously, too. And it's like, yeah, that is another big fear in anything surrounding that. Yeah. Um, sorry. That sucks, but Thank you. Hopefully you men should change. be sorry for your, for for my my, yeah, my kind. But you're you're a good one. Oh, <laughs> I feel like sure. I'm super comfortable and I like know him quite well, but at the same time, I don't feel like I know him that well, so definitely intrigued. I mean, I'm super excited to get even like deeper than I already am with her, so. Ooh, our first T for 2 card. <sighs> oh god. Oh. Okay. Okay. What is your most terrible memory? Oh, most terrible memory. That's, you know what? Actually, there was a moment in time where I like, the, the, mo the memory, like the moment I like, I broke my leg and that wasn't the, mm. the terrible memory, but it was a lot of the things that happened after that. Sure. Cause like I'm a person who really enjoys to be outside and athletic yeah. and I think when I got stuck inside all day for months, it kind of like triggered like a depression a little bit. A hundred percent. For sure, and, and a lot of insecurity and a lot of anxiety. And yeah. I was like just scared to like go out or like scared to talk to people and um, for yeah. a while too, until I kind of got my foot back in. And but it was like a year I was just out. I mean, I mean, I don't know. I, there's, I don't want to show the scar. You got to take my whole, whole sock <laughs> I off. I believe you. But like, yeah, there's like a scar all right here and all down here. I got like wow. three surgeries on it. Wow. Yeah, I just, but I mean. Can I ask, how did you break it? Uh, football. Football. Yeah. Got it. And then. Yeah, that totally makes sense. That yeah, but would like, drive me crazy too, yeah. so. But, and then that kind of translated into high school a little bit mm -hmm. and just dealing with a lot of just insecurity about myself. Cause yeah. I overthink a lot and you know, my outlet is is sports or anything anything athletic, you know, and yeah. that's kind of who I feel like. That's what I value, and when mm. I can, and I, I feel like, I mean, I don't know, and, and a little bit of depression, just kind of just sad about the way. I mean, and this goes back to like the anxiety and how I perceive myself and stuff. And sure. I, I've gone a long ways for sure, like throughout. Just definitely grew. But I mean, it's hard. I don't. I guess not one to like one yeah, memory. Yeah, but that but, totally I mean, makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. My heart's racing just a little bit. It's okay. Um, You're good. You're good. When I was twelve, I was molested by a stepfather-like figure in my mm. life, um, and. I didn't speak up about it for a bit. Yeah. And I did, thanks to my dad and my close yeah. relationship, honestly, I was able to share it. And that kind of flipped my world upside down for, I mean, obviously kind of changed obviously. it forever, but yeah. that year was definitely the hardest year of my life. Um, sure. Yeah, and I've grown so much because of it and it is, it's definitely part of the reason why I care so much about yeah. the things I do care about. Mm -hmm. And that's one topic that I am really passionate about yeah. and especially in creating awareness for. 
because um, I think still there's not enough education for children in knowing what's okay and what's not okay and yeah. what to do about it yeah. if it ever happens. And obviously I never thought anything like that would happen to me. It's in a way made me who I am, even yeah. though it clearly doesn't define me in any way, yeah. but it is a part of my life and something that I still have to deal with, yeah. you know? Yeah. And yeah, that's my, yeah. That's definitely, <laughs> that's definitely a lot to process for sure. But yeah. I mean, wow. I don't even it's know. Okay. To, I don't even. It's, I'm just a little bit in shock. That's okay. But, I know it's I a mean, lot. Yeah. Are you you good though? I'm okay. Want a hug or anything? Or I'll give a hug. You want a little sure. hug? It's nice. Yeah. It's like no matter how many times I tell somebody that, um, no matter what, my heart is still racing. I still feel really anxious. That kind of never goes away. And there's obviously fear of it'll be too much for someone or, you know. I think I appreciated her more as, uh, and like respect her more throughout the date, just kind of realizing some of the things like she's been through and some of the things that she's had to, had to deal with. And I don't know, I, I really, it's like, you know, it's cool that she's been able to persevere and become better from it. So mostly just, yeah, respect. I know that he's a safe space for me to share too. So, you know, I definitely felt that throughout. <laughs> this is actually kind of wholesome and okay, cute. Okay, okay. Hold it. hands while you tell each other about your first crush. Oh, oh my God. Okay, how to, like the. Like, yeah, just, let's hold hands. Let's hold hands. Okay, all right. So we're giving a prayer. Go first? <laughs> um, there was this girl in elementary school that I was fond over. I just remembered like the feelings of like, this is like weird, like I really like her. So were like, you guys like icky. dating in third grade? No, oh. no, no, it's just a Sad. girl I liked. Yeah. But I, I didn't want to get into the mess of like dealing with that. Fair Especially enough. at a third grade. <laughs> um, my first like proper crush was this guy in, um, this was in fourth grade. I really liked him and I'll never forget, he like asked me to our school dance oh. and then barely spoke to me the whole time. That makes that stand so And then he asked sense. me to slow dance and I said, no. Oh wow. Cause he didn't talk to me the entire time. Oh, look at you go. Yeah. Um, Standing on the ground. But I did, I did really like him. He was definitely my, my first, first crush. proper crush. Okay. Oh, friend each other on the Nectar app and review your compatibility. Oh, interesting. interesting. I guess we should do that. Then. Okay. Uh, do you know my name? Yeah, oh, Nick actually, Coltrane. Yeah, it's just Nick Coltrane. I sent a request, so now go to... Oh, Emma. <laughs> we, we, have the same, same... we have the same exact... Apo. We have the same exact letters. Yeah. Willow? Willow, yeah. Wait, 89. We are 89% compatible. That's pretty good. Whoa. It says, both of you are touchy-feely creatures with the people close to you, but even with new acquaintances, you get along well with. It's how you express and create connection. You both find comfort in touch before diving into words and emotions. Mm. That's interesting. Do you think that's true to you? I, think I don't know. I think that's true to me, honestly. Okay. Yeah. I am definitely... I suppose a physical touch person. I wouldn't say I'm like super, super like touchy to like mm. everyone. Yeah. But I think in a relationship I am. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Definitely how you express and create connection though. That's like hands down super yeah. true. Perception box question. What is something you regret that you failed to do or say in a past relationship? I think my first relationship I regret not admitting my lack of wanting to be in the relationship. I feel like for a little while in it, I wasn't like, I was honestly not, I didn't you really want to be were, in it. Yeah. And I kind of just closed myself off and I'm like, I ah, just, whatever. Yeah. But like, I regret not doing it sooner mm. because it ended up breaking off in a harder way, you know, because I let the 
the kind of more negative emotions dwell. Right. And, and then that created up. argument, arguing and stuff. Which goes back to being more open. In the exactly. Future. Yeah. I mean, 100% open to like what I want yeah. and like how I'm feeling. Right. And if I want to be with you, I don't want to just kind of get into a relationship just kind of for the sake of, of, course. of being in a relationship. I want to truly be like, okay, you're my life partner. Yeah. You know, I want to be a little bit more picky and right. I guess that's the best way to put it. Yeah. yeah. Especially in my first long term relationship, which was most of college, it was three years. Oh yeah. That's I a long time. honestly was just more judgmental than I would be now. Mm -hmm. um, I have a tough time with a partner if we disagree on something because I immediately in my head go to like this must mean we're not compatible, like we don't agree. Oh, okay. And I yeah. think that's really not the right way to look at it because you are never going to no. agree on everything. And Everyone, I think- I think disagreements are healthy. I, I regret letting those things bother me so much because I can now yeah. recognize that it is so normal and it doesn't have to mean you're not compatible. Kind of the same, yeah. Just because you don't agree on yeah. something. So that's what I would say for me. Yeah. I agree with that, honestly. Do you ever feel like you need to make excuses or apologize for aspects of yourself? And if so, why? I say I'm sorry a lot more than I should, and I've been told that. Um, but I think I apologize a lot for feeling anxious or if I'm having anxiety, my go-to will be like, sorry, like I know this is annoying, like sorry. Yeah. Um, it's a part of me that I feel is a burden to other people. Yeah. And so I do feel like it's something I have to acknowledge and kind of apologize for. And and yeah. that sometimes I think I just need to, you know, it's okay. And yeah. someone will accept that about me. Exactly. That's kind of what I want to like just improve about myself. It's like stop feeling sorry for aspects of myself I can't change. Mm. You know, it's hard though. It's hard to be yourself around certain it's people. Hard. You know? It's hard to unapologetically be Yourself, yourself, but that yeah. is the best thing to be. <laughs> um, when was the last time that you really cried? Oh, I, I don't, I'm not really afraid to let out my emotions. Um, and like, sometimes I get like super anxious or stressed about, out about just like anything and I'll, and I'll cry, but like, I feel like bawled my eyes out. Yeah, when was the last time you really cried? Honestly, probably when my last relationship ended. Honestly, yeah. like I think it was for the best Aww. because I just personally don't think we were completely compatible. Yeah. But it definitely hurt for yeah. sure. And I was expecting it, I think, for a little while. Right. But it was still kind of hit me, you know? Yeah. I wasn't expecting it to hit me like that either. I remember I like, I was pretty sad about it. I had practice the next morning for like swim and I texted my coach and I'm like, I'm not coming. Like, I actually can't. I don't want to be crying in front of yeah. the whole team, the whole practice. You gotta put yourself first. Yeah, so I like, and then I like went down to his office and literally just cried and Aww. hugged it out. Yeah. Aww. And talked to a bunch of other people. And oh my God, I remember when I, when I just got off the phone with her, I went to the bathroom and my friend was there. And he's like, how are you doing, man? And I was like, I'm, I'm doing good. And then I was like, I looked at him and I just started, tears just started coming down. And I was like, dude, I need a hug or something, man. Like in the bathroom while I'm brushing That's my teeth. Really yeah. really sweet. Okay, challenge card. Be honest, on a scale of one to 10, how attractive do you find the person sitting across from you? They will wear headphones. <laughs> oh God, that's crazy. You're gonna should plug I, it into your phone I just listen to, sure. Don't look at me while I say it. <laughs> um, I swear, genuinely looking at him, I would totally give him a 10. Like he's stunning, look at this man, you know? Like, so I, yeah, I would absolutely say a 10. I would say like, he's beautiful, I give him a 10. On a scale of one to 10, how attractive would I rate Emma? Personally to me, definitely like my type, like the blonde hair, the eyes, the lips. Um, if I'm being like completely honest, probably like, I feel like I'm a pretty picky person too. Um, maybe like an 8.5, I'll say like an 8.5, like very attractive. I don't know, I, I, don't like, I don't like doing this, I don't like rating women. Okay. Final one. All right, T for two. Take a deep breath. <sighs> and look into your partner's eyes for four minutes in silence. Good luck. You guys. Okay. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs>
it was a little bit it was a little bit awkward at first, but like honestly, I thought it was it was a cool way to kind of just like connect. Um, it started off a bit difficult and I wanted to like laugh and smile, but once we were, I felt like I had no concept of time, but once we were into it, it actually got easier and easier. Like by the time the timer went off, I actually felt like I could have done it even longer. Um, I think personally, and I've definitely thought about it, and we've just discussed like a little bit. I adore Nick. I think he's such a sweetheart. I do just feel like where we are right now in the places in our life, um, they are very different. She's like three years older and has a job, lives on her own. I'm still in college, pursuing or trying to find what I want to do and and don't know if I feel 100% a romantic connection. I don't know that I felt the depth of connection I would be looking to feel in order to have a romantic relationship. And I only want to go in on something if I'm like 100% ready to do it and wanting to do it. And I really want to find a soulmate. And if I don't think there's a 100% chance, then I don't want to do that. So I think at the moment, I would want to just be friends with him. I don't think I want to pursue a romantic relationship. And that being said, you never know what may happen down the line, but I think it would be better to be friends. So that's how I feel, I'm sorry. Hi. Hi. You also said no. <laughs> no. Ugh, at think, least we're on the same page. I think we're both, yeah. And I would love to be friends. I would too. And like, you never know what happens down the line. True. But I think, but I think in this present moment, with the current situation, agreed. and like, yeah. I think it's the best choice. I think, you know, even talking about everything today. Yeah. Being like, knowing where we want, what we want, you know? What we're looking Just being for. open to ourselves. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're such a cutie Aww, though, stop Nick. It, I want to give you a Okay, okay. Okay, okay. All right, you crushed me a little bit. You're strong. I am strong. Mm. <laughs> Later on in the night When the crowds have gone We could talk under moonlight Till dawn mm. 